people normally look at beach volleyball like you show up and you hang out for a couple hours and then you go home. And for me, it's an all day, every day thing. This is my home. They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. They're gonna need to send in the national guard a fucking SWAT team. So if you can hone in on your techniques, whether that's passing, setting, hitting, etc., you can be successful because those will always be there even when the score is 0, 0, 5, 5, or 20 all and you're in the heat of battle. Those things never leave you. just too much heat. From a physical perspective, I think personally that one, techniques are incredibly important still. You know, everyone wants to go up and hit, get the big hammer, be the Sean Rose and Paul Vegas line, or you know, be Phil Dalhauser and hit angles, but the reality is is that there's only one Sean Rosenthal and there's only one Phil Dalhauser and there will be other guys that can do that, but those are not a dime a dozen. Those are one out of a, you know, a million. Or, or 10 million or something like that. And then use your vision when you're blocking, if you're a blocker. Watch the hitter, you know, see the ball and watch the hitter. I still see guys out here on the Pro Tour that, that watch the ball way too often. And the ball isn't gonna tell you what it's gonna do. The hitter's gonna tell you what it's gonna do. Learning is important even if you're one of the best in the world. Just today in the USA Volleyball Training Gym, one of our Olympians was trying to add something to her game. And so it's important she struggles through and embraces that discomfort that's always going to happen when we're trying something new. We're going to screw it up before we're going to master it.